Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Has Pulse Con 2023 exclusive set of the Omega Rangers from the Boom Studios comic series. Now, this is something I'm so, so happy that we finally got. So the Omega Rangers, if you don't know, are a team of exclusive Power Rangers from the Boom Studios comic series. They debuted in 2019, and if you don't know who they are, it is sort of an alternate timeline version of Jason, Zack, and Trini if they actually went on a secret mission by Zordon instead of actually going to the Peace Conference in Season 2. And then they also are joined by Kaya, Kia, I'm not sure, Kia, K-Y-Y-K-I-Y-A, uh, as our Blue Ranger in this team, and this is only a team of four, uh, because they are based off of the elements, so we have, I think, fire, earth, or water, fire, earth, and air, I don't remember which one's air, that might be air, and then <laughs> land, or something like that, but... I think this is a really, really cool team of Rangers. I've loved these designs. They've been very, very important in the comics ever since they debuted, kind of basically being the main members of the comic team like presence, except for just Mighty Morphin, of course. And I've wanted figures for these forever, and everybody has. So <laughs> I'm glad that we finally got them here right at the uh, beginning of the hiatus for the line and stuff like that. So this is fantastic. So this was released as a Hasbro Pulse exclusive for PulseCon 2023. It was $100, which was the cost of four figures, which makes sense. And uh, it's not available in stock right now, but there is still a pre-order of it available for a November 1st release. Not sure if they're going to do any other shipments other than that, but the first shipment was in stock on PulseCon day, and it sold out. So let's take a look at the set. So we have some beautiful artwork on the front here from the original artist from the Boom Studios comics who designed these ranges. Uh, they did get a specific custom artwork piece for this commissioned, which is fantastic. Uh, and we have a full picture of it on Twitter uh, that you know doesn't have all of the branding stuff all over the place. And I really like it. I like that they didn't just use like a pre-existing comic cover or something. It's you know it makes it special. It makes it feel a little bit more cooler, you know. And I love it a lot. So on the top here we have Power Rangers Lightning Collection or Mega Rangers. You got the Boom Studios logo. On the side it just says Omega Rangers. On the other side, you get the nice shots of all of the helmets, red, yellow, black, and blue. On the bottom, barcode, plastic-free packaging. And then, of course, on the back, you get the render of the team. Now, my only real complaint about the set that we'll get into is the lack of civilian heads. Now, they've not really been doing a ton of civilian heads for comic stuff, nor do they really do it for team packs. The Alien Rangers didn't have any heads. I knew the, neither did the Psycho Rangers, you know, however many years ago. So it would have been nice to get civilian heads for these guys. At least we have a comic Jason and Trini head from the Color Swap 2 pack, and I will take a look at that later on here. And we do have a Zack head from different Mighty Morphin Black releases. And there's just nothing we can really do about Kia, which is sort of unfortunate, but... It's still a beautiful, beautiful looking set. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the four Omega Ranger figures. All right, so here are the Omega Rangers out of the box with everything that you get. This is such a nice set. I really, really like this thing a lot. Uh, not only just the, the, the way that they've captured the designs, but the figures themselves are really good. The accessories are a lot of fun. And I'm just, I'm really satisfied with the set. It's a fantastic release. Every time we've gotten a team pack, They've been really good. The Alien Rangers was fantastic, if you haven't seen my review of that. The Psychos are one of my favorite things that they've ever done. And this is fantastic, and I love that this is just a team pack of these guys. I think it makes sense to just get it done, especially since the comics are not, you know, the most mainstream thing. So, you know, I don't know if Omegas would really sell all that well independently. You could still do some other Omega stuff, maybe hopefully someday, like the Death Ranger I would love to get. Uh, the second Omega Blue Ranger, because we got to get that awesome Cat Yale figure. I would love to get those someday. But at least we have these. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with Jason here, the Red Omega Ranger. So now we have all of Jason's Ranger forms: uh, the Mighty Morphin Red, Omega Red, and Zeo Gold. And just I just I love how like you know unique they are, but they still have some like Mighty Morphin aspects, like the diamond on the chest and everything. But like everything on here is just so good. And uh, I've been looking at this figure since May when the prototype of it leaked on eBay, and now we actually have the actual figure here all painted and everything's all great and I like it a lot so of course these are pinless but they're really not loose or anything like that they've kind of sort of fixed that problem it still has my only complaint to kind of about the main figure is that you, you you do get some nice you know rotation there and you get the ball joint head and everything but the neck 
like I had to kind of try to straighten it out a little bit because the neck also has like a joint and it makes it like sometimes it doesn't like line up perfectly and then you get the red kind of like off centered and stuff like that so it's kind of strange so the head articulation is a little bit limited uh now surprisingly I'm glad to say that this is sort of on its own little kind of hinge right here uh, so you still kind of have the butterfly joint you can't really activate it uh, but they you know it does get out of the way to where I don't really think it's really impacting too much of the arm movement there you don't want to like super stress that out there uh, but you can kind of have the shoulder pads not be too much in the way and kind of the same thing down here with whatever this like you know crotch piece is supposed to be I'm really not sure uh, but that doesn't really get too much in the way especially because you got the drop down uh, joints and everything that's been on the pinless bodies but i will say the torso feels a little loose and i think that's kind of the case on all of them uh, but honestly overall i really don't have too many complaints whatsoever all the gold as a paint is applied very very nicely the helmet looks absolutely excellent i love that the morpher is on the left hand and not on the right as it's supposed to be because uh, they do have just these nice painted and i mean really really nice painted hands they're very unique lightning collection hands uh, since you know they have all that nice design and paint applications on them which you just wouldn't see on any other lightning collection figure so i love this tremendously it's a fantastic suit design i think the omegas are some of the best original power Ranger suits that the boom studios comics has ever put uh, to the page and actually has some physical versions of them now is very welcome so there is jason's figure now for his accessories we get his omega red ranger sword which is a pretty cool looking sword that's you know a little bit more of like just a straight kind of sword instead of like a more curved kind of typical ranger kind of weapon hand wise uh, you get some fists for his left and right and they still keep it accurate to where there's only the morpher if it wants to focus on the left hand and not on the right which is how it's supposed to be and then he gets this reused effect piece which i'm not sure if we had it in the golden yellow kind of color so i don't ever mind uh repeats of effect pieces especially if we can get them in new colors but i'm not 100 percent sure if that's any difference but there is jason of course zach is essentially the exact same figure as jason he does have a different helmet slightly the omegas are pretty similar in helmet design but they do have a different symbol there for what element they're based off of and i believe that zach is the wind uh version or the air whatever you want to call it element wise for this and i do like how you have that distinct black and the gray like the dark gray like it it still feels distinct two different colors but you can tell that you know this is the black ranger of the team like it it's just really cool and i love black and gold color schemes so to have a whole ranger that's essentially just black and gold like it might be my favorite of the omega suits except for the the death ranger that's probably my all-time favorite but yeah fantastic figure virtually the exact same thing as jason just with a slightly different helmet and of course the paint applications now he comes with the kind of nunchuck bladed weapon thing i wish this was an actual chain unfortunately it is not but it is nicely sculpted and painted with all those accented lines there and even the tiny little dots but yeah i wish this could have been like on an actual chain that would have significantly made it a little bit better in my opinion but at least we have it nonetheless and he also comes with just a set of fists for the right and left hand which once again keep the morpher thing accurate and then you get these kind of you know whooshing effect pieces for the blades there which i believe could be the same ones from the michelangelo set i think from the team and crossover if not they're very similar to those so we have those in purple next up to complete the trio of original mighty morphin characters we have trini as the yellow omega ranger and the female body mold on this very good as well uh you know you still have the whole thing where this can kind of get out of the way uh, it is pinless double jointed female elbows so you know the kind of more newer female body we've had in the last couple years so very 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 good very good figure love all of the paint detail on this love how the gold stands out on the yellow kind of like how in space yellow has the two different kind of tones of yellow and gold kind of colors excellent really really like it not loose or anything like that love the helmet there this one is land that's the one that trini is based off of and it's fantastic and as you can see this is once again a very similar helmet they all like i said the omegas are all pretty similar helmet wise but they still kind of feel a little bit unique and she gets this really cool hammer piece which is kind of like a mjolnir kind of thing or something i love this a lot with the yellow accents and then her hands are just once again just a set of fists and everybody comes default i probably should have said it but everybody comes default with holding hands although i'm sure you noticed that now she comes with the best effect piece this is a brand new effect piece 
that we've never had in the Lightning Collection before. It's ex uh, especially specifically made for her hammer, and I really like it. It's just just this giant yellow, like you know, like she just like stomped the hammer into the ground. That's really cool. So <laughs> I love this effect piece, uh, and uh, I love whenever they give unique ones. And like I said earlier, I love whenever we get reused ones in new colors, and this set has both of those things. So this is fantastic. I love it a lot. Uh, definitely my favorite effect piece we've had in a while. And then finally, we have Kia, the blue Omega Ranger, with this really nice, like, you know, light cyan aqua y kind of blue color, which makes sense uh, with her being a water based ranger. Really, really cool. So there's her helmet right there. Once again, pretty much the exact same thing as Trini's figure. So not too terribly different from that one. But she, of course, still looks good as well. And being water-based, she has a trident as her weapon, which looks pretty cool. Probably the more simplest ones of the Omega weapons, but still neat nonetheless. And then you get, once again, a pair of fists, which you can't really see. There we go. Pair of fists. And then her effect piece uh, is the Astronomer Staff one that we've had with both of the Astronomer releases, but I do believe this is the first time we've had it in blue. Because uh, with Astronomer, it was like in a pinkish purple kind of color. So it is a little bit different. And there is that. So that is everything with the set. Uh, now I do want to go ahead and take a look at some of the head swaps by taking the comic figure heads that we do have and kind of giving them uh, to the Omegas. So with the original Mighty Morphin Trio here, we have some heads we can swap. So let's go ahead and take the red Omega Ranger helmet off. And here is the comic book Jason head sculpt that we got. If I can actually get it to fit. It should be able to work, but this is the head sculpt that came with the color swap Yellow Ranger figure, and it just is uh, not cooperating. All right, I got it. So there he is. There is our comic Jason head sculpt that you can put on Omega Red, which I think looks pretty solid, all things considered. Uh, we also have from that same exact set, we have the color swap Trini head sculpt that I think looks really good. And that went on there pretty easily. So there is the Trini head sculpt. And then finally, what's cool about the fact that there's so many different versions of some of these figures already, uh, you can give the Zack head either from the remastered figure or from the original Zack, whichever one you want to. Uh, this one is from the remastered figure that we just took a look at. There is no comic Zack head sculpt, unfortunately. But, you know, you can at least get this complete with it. And I do really like the fact that you have a way to give these guys civilian head sculpts, even though the set itself doesn't include them. I think... This looks really neat. I really, really, really wish that there was some kind of nice head sculpt for her, but the fact that she's an alien and has, like, you know, a pink skin and everything like that, it's kind of hard to find a good, like, civilian head sculpt for her. I would have loved for there to have at least been one for her, because there's really, like, no other way to, like, get a head sculpt for Omega Blue, which is just kind of a shame, but at least you can get it here uh, with the main three. I, I really do like how this looks a lot. Uh, and it's kind of a good other use for the... Uh, color swap two pack which you can find at like ross's right now for like 12 dollars. if you want to get another one i have to give these head sculpts for a reasonably cheap price you can do so so <laughs> i think this looks really cool and i think remastered black i think personally uh, looks the best uh, for comic zach compared to the other zach heads or i guess yeah we have two other zach heads in the lightning collection this far and with that that is going to do it for my review of the omega ranger lightning collection four pack so if you can get your hands on this, because I do believe it is still up for pre-order, get this set. It is absolutely fantastic. I don't think you'll be disappointed whatsoever. It's just such a nice group of figures from the paint, from the detail, from the designs, from the weapons, from the accessories. My only complaint is just the lack of civilian heads, but as we just took a look at, you can remedy that in some way. So at least there is that aspect to it. And besides that and the little kind of weird neck joint articulation thing, there's like nothing to complain about with this set. It's pinless, it's not wobbly, it's a good deal, they didn't overcharge you for them, it's the price of four Lightning Collection figures at once, it's exactly what I would have expected it to be. It's fantastic, it's like exactly, you know, at the end here we're really getting some like really great releases like this and the Alien Rangers and stuff like that, and it's like we should have been getting these kind of things the whole time, and maybe we wouldn't be at risk of going into our hiatus period of things like we are right now, so... I don't know why they can do so well here, you know, when things are looking so bleak, but this is a fantastic release of the Lightning Collection that I can highly recommend, even if you're not a fan of the comics. It's just a cool release to have on your shelf. So 
Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the set? Did you pick one up already? Are you going to try to track one down? And what do you think of the comics overall? Because I don't think we get enough figures from the comics. I would love to see more comic figures. And that is going to do it. So, of course, until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LiveRangerKey or LinFigPR. And I'll see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comix1017, James Darty, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CBT Tesla, Cross SCV, Gaboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, Uni Warrior Thomas, Louis Carnes, and Carlos Alfredo. You can support Toki Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.